Hey guys, Keon here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of For the Love of Anime. This series follows my reviews and thoughts on animes I watch and give my opinion on them. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. And today, I have a special treat for all you anime fans that have been watching my channel. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys, so I'm here to deliver. It just took me so long to watch this anime. I finally finished Hunter x Hunter or Hunter x Hunter and it took about one month and give or take about a week or two. And let me tell you, it was the most insane 148 episodes ever. Hunter x Hunter isn't done yet since the manga is still ongoing, but they remade the 1999 Hunter x Hunter into a new refresher series with even more episodes. The Hunter x Hunter 2011 remake boasts about 148 episodes compared to the Hunter x Hunter 1999 version, which I think only goes to Greed Island. But anyway, was, without further ado, I know you guys waited forever for this video, so, so let's right we start off the anime by heading straight into the Hunter exam arc. We meet a boy by the name of Gon Freaks, whose father is a world-renowned hunter, but he doesn't really know much about his parents and lives with his aunt Nito and his grandma as well. Gon wants to meet his dad, and he believes that if he becomes a hunter, then he could go and search for his dad and meet him one day. So his aunt, being stubborn because her brother left to be a hunter exam, gave Gon a deal. If he catches this giant crayfish fish monster in the swamp, he can go and take the hunter exam, and that's exactly what he did. Once Gon found the entrance and completed some tasks, he was allowed to take the hunter exam which had a variety of obstacles and tests he had to complete, like navigating a deadly jungle, hunting other applicants, killing a wild boar, and having an extraordinary long underground marathon. While doing these tasks, Guns ends up making friends with some pretty cool characters like Leorio who wants to become a doctor, Karapika whose clan was murdered by the Phantom Troop and wants revenge, and also Killua who is an assassin from the Zoldig family of assassins. Even though Gon and his friends are having a good time, we also get to meet the series' main villain that we get to that we get introduced to essentially, and that's Hisoka, who I should note is a dangerous magician who loves to take out stronger opponents. Hisoka, I should note, is a little bit crazy and vicious. The only reason why he doesn't kill Gon and his friends is because he views Gon as an unripe fruit. Essentially, he's not ready to fight Hisoka. So instead of killing Gon, Hisoka is letting him live long enough with his friends if it means Gon can get stronger. The only reason why Hisoka is doing this is because he wants to kill and destroy stronger opponents. So he's looking forward to the day Gon gets strong enough to pose a challenge so he can kill him. And before the hunter exam ends, there's a tournament of single round elimination and everyone makes it besides Killua. Killua ends up facing against his brother Illumi who forces Killua to kill another hunter exam applicant disqualifying him from the years from that year's exam and is forced to go back home because of Illumi. This gets super spicy and also the beginning of the next arc. Every single year, millions of the world's most skilled applicants apply for the hunter exam. But only a handful make the cut. Will all of the applicants please enter? Being a hunter is a dangerous job. You could die at any time for any number of ridiculous reasons. You know it's a suicide mission, right? Death is not among my fears. Let's do this. One, two, three. Now's our chance. Come on. Tsunami presents Hunter Hunter. Premier Saturday, April 16th at 1. You can't spell impossible without possible on Adult Swim. So after passing the Hunter exam, we head straight into the Zoldig family arc where we have to save Killua. So Gan, Karapika, and Leorio go to Kukuro Mountain to get Killua back and save him from his parents' house. They have to go through some trials and have to also use the testing gate in order to get stronger to get Killua back. After a while, you know, a few weeks and months of training, the three were finally able to reunite with Killua. After saving their friends, the team disbanded. Leorio went off to medical school in order to become a doctor, and Karapka ended up going to York, New City to become a bounty hunter and find the Phantom Troop. While Leorio and Karapika are doing their own thing, Killua and Gon head to a place called Heaven's Arena so that they can actually get some combat training and experience, and also make some money on the side as well. Next, we head into Heaven's Arena arc, where Gon and Killua have to go through 251 floors of tournament-style combat for cash, and a race against the clock as well. During this though, Gon and Killua end up meeting new opponents who use a new power that we're introduced to, Nen. 
Due to the difference in power, Kilo and Gon search for a guy they met before, a kung fu master by the name of Wing who shows them how to use Nen and control it. Nen, for anyone who doesn't know, is chi-like energy that can be used to manifest superhuman powers. While he's teaching Gon and Killua, he also has a student who's already on the path of Nen called Zushi. After months of training, Gon and Killua end up reaching the top floors, but most of the people use Nen, so after learning Nen, they can go and fight. In the process, they also end up meeting Hisoka on the top floor, who is also competing. Gon challenges Hisoka to a match and wins, and wins it too, giving Hisoka a nice punch and his badge back from the Hunter exam arc. Hisoka told Gon that when he's able to punch Hisoka, like he's gonna punch Gon, then he'll take the badge back. And that's exactly what happened during this arc towards the end. It was really sick training arc and I really enjoyed it. Since we finished the Heavens Arena arc, we now head into a very anticipated arc, I think, the York New City arc. This arc talks and focuses on the auction being held by the Mafia, and we also get to see the Phantom Troop for the first time. The Phantom Troop is a band of thieves, killers, and criminals that killed Karate Yuka's clan, leaving him alive. In this arc, our main cast of characters are heading to one of the largest auctions in the Hunter world, the York New City Auction. During this, though, Gon and Killa also end up finding out about a game called Greed Island that they're trying to get because Gon's dad, Gene Freaks, left clues about it back at Whale Island. So Gon and Killua are trying different methods to get a copy of the game and the console, hoping that it would have any clues into finding his father. Meanwhile, Kropika is a bodyguard for the Neon Nostrid family. The daughter of that family has powers to see the future, and she's also an avid body part collector, and Kropika uses this time to get closer to the clan's Scarlet Eyes. While the group is doing their own thing, the Phantom Troop all met up in New York New City, stealing all the goods and fighting the main protagonist and the Mafia, having an almost all-out war, which is insane. This 4th of July weekend, Toonami's going hunting. People become hunters to join the world's most noble profession. I'm gonna be the best hunter in the world! I hope nobody gets killed! Join us as we marathon the first seven episodes of a one-of-a-kind epic adventure. Voracious creatures feast on human prey. You claim to be hunter material. But I'll be the judge. The Hunter Hunter Marathon, next Saturday night at 11.30. That looks so fun! Now we head into Greed Island. This arc, I think, is my second favorite arc out of all the arcs. I love it because it's somewhat of a training arc for the next arc to come. So after York New City and all the shit that happened, right, Leorio and Karapika end up leaving and doing some of their own stuff, leaving Gon and Killua to explore Greed Island by working for a rich billionaire named Batera, whose focus was to hire hunters to beat the game for him. During this time, though, Gon and Killua are joined and trained by this girl named Biscuit Kruger, a 57-year-old woman who looks like a 12-year-old girl. She teaches the boys how to amplify and control their net and focus on what they want to do with it. Soon the story takes a turn where there is a player called the Bomber killing other players in order to win and beat the game. So Gon and Killua and his friends that he made on Greed Island used everything in order to defeat the Bomber. During their fight with the Bomber, the Phantom Troop ended up going to Greed Island in order to find a Nen Exorcist because their leader Crolio, Cro Crolo has his Nen taken away because Kravika placed a Nen Dagger in his heart preventing him from using Nen. This I'd say is an is an arc that is also a catalyst for making Gon and Killua stronger. Like, this is the arc. They had so many trials and challenges, and they grew up a lot for the next upcoming arc, if you know what I'm saying. The Chimera and arc, I'd say, is the best arc of Hunter x Hunter right now, especially when they haven't animated the whole manga yet since the manga tends to go on hiatus. After Greed Island, Gon and Killua end up teleporting to a new character that we meet for the first time. His name is Kite, and apparently he was the unofficial student of Jean. Gon learns some new information about Jean and even tries Jean or even gets Jean's hunter license. Not try, he gets it from Kite in order to give to Jean. During this time though, Killua and Gon find out about why Kite is in the area that they teleported to from using the accompany card from Greed Island. In this arc, Kai and some other researchers slash hunters are studying a dangerous invasive species called Chimera Ants. The queen of the Chimera Ants eats nutritious and organic material from prey she eats, transferring the genetic DNA of her and whatever she eats to her offsprings, meaning it's super deadly to be kept alive. Kai and his group were hired to study a piece of the queen's leg that washed up on the beach of NGL, which is the region controlled by the environmentalist 
also known as Neo Green Life, who hate technology and want to live in nature. Through a lot of testing on the leg, they figured out it belonged to an abnormally large chimera ant queen, and that proved a threat since chimera ants eat their prey to extinction. During this time, the queen destroyed a lot of NGL through sheer force and eating while the ants evolved. The point of the queen eating so much is so that she can give birth to the king, which is a lot more important than the queen because he will continue the species. In the process of him being born, the king ended up killing the queen and taking over the NGL, hoping to create a kingdom of ant soldiers so that he can birth the queen and repeat the cycle. Gon and Killua and the rest of the group were too late for the birth of the king and the Hunter Association issued a threat level warning where they sent the head chairman Netro to take control of the situation, resulting in his death. Gon and his friends also had to go through some of the most insane battles in the series. Before they can fight the king, they need to defeat the royal guard that protects the king. These ants are super deadly because once they were like born with Nen, their abilities manifested and they ended up learning how to use Nen and became super intelligent and also hard to fight. The hunters ended up winning, not without some casualties though, like head chairman Netro, Palm who got turned into a human ant hybrid, and injuries that were critical for Gon and other people like Shu. And also let's not forget Kite who ended up dying to P2 who was the first royal guard everyone met. This arc is the best arc I've seen in a while. It's the equivalent to meeting Frieza for the first time or even watching Luffy vs Don Flamingo. It's such a good arc and it surprises you. It's insane because you won't expect any of it. Well you would probably expect it now since I'm telling you but that's besides the point. Wait, is that Gomes? GL and the Chimera Ants. It's the worst combination imaginable. What is this? I don't believe it. What's wrong, Kite? I want you to capture more of those highly nutritious organisms for me. <laughs> Get away! You can keep sending them my way. Finally starting to get my groove back. I'm gonna kill you! I must consume more of this species. I can tell. You guys are unbelievably strong. And still, I don't think even you could take him. So we went through so many arcs, but the anime stops in the next arc, the 13th election chairman arc, because the studio hasn't made new episodes, but I heard this year they're going to be making more episodes, so don't worry. Anyways, let's continue on with the video. After Netero fell to the Chimera and King, a new hunter chairman is needed so they ended up having kind of like a political race within the hunter association to elect a new chairman in order to lead the hunters. So the top hunters of the association, also known as Zodiacs, all came together to decide how the voting is going to be like and who was going to vote and who was not. During this though, Jing was in the lead for handling the election only to get punched by Leorio on the voting day, making it so that Leorio would run in the election. The reason why Leorio was even there was so that he could convince all the hunters to save Gon since he was in critical condition after fighting P2. During all this election stuff going on, Killua ends up finding a sister, Aluka, who can grant any wish for a prize. Killua is trying to have his sister Aluka save Gon with her power and due to having such a dangerous power, Illumi teams up with Hisuka in order to stop Killua because if he messes up, the whole Zoldic family line could die. Long story short, Gon saves Killua, Illumi is back at Kukuro Mountain, and Gon ends up meeting Jean for the first time since he's at the election and Gon came to see Leorio. So that was kind of a plus. This arc is super touching because it ends up with Gon meeting Jean and it also got to talk and spend time with him on the World Tree on episode 148. I love the way the arcs play out and I love the pacing of the show. It's almost the same as One Piece in terms of pacing and Yu Yu Hakusho which is no surprise since Yoshihiro Togashi created both Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter. The series is just straight amazing. While when I was watching it, I spent every time and every moment in between league games just so I could watch it and finish it up. My favorite arc is the Chimera Ant arc followed by Greed Island. The way Greed Island happened got my blood pumping because we got to see Gon actually meet his match with the bomber only to capture him and beat the game. 
and then the chimera and the arc was just a whole nother level the queen who was the catalyst of the arc going into the king which proved to be such a major threat due to the fact that natro died to stop him i was super sad when the king died to some random poison which i have a problem with because i don't feel like they explained that well and also the fact that the king looks a bit like frieza and cell put together other than that the characters the powers and the way the 2011 hunter x hunter is animated makes it so like so worth it and so worth the wait right now i want to say i'm super caught up and i'm waiting for more episodes and arcs to drop later in the year what i'm waiting for right now is the dark continent expedition arc and the succession cont uh, contest arc I feel like the anime is going almost the same route as the Black Tournament arc went in Yu Yu Hakusho, and this is merely speculation though because it seems similar to me at least. For Yu Yu Hakusho, the Black Tournament arc, which is is almost similar to the Chimera Ant arc, maybe it's a bit of a stretch, but I'm stretching hella. I'm grateful for you guys, my viewers, for suggesting Hunter x Hunter. I always knew that it was around, but I haven't watched it until mad people were telling me to check it out. So I've been AFK for a while, binging it for hours, and this series I think will get your blood and emotions pumping and have you invested. It's such a great series, and I honestly rate it 10 out of 10. There isn't much shit to say about the series, since it's beautiful and very fleshed out, and the only issues I have were some character designs like Mevrum and the fact that he died from poison. Other than that, Hunter x Hunter is def worth your time watching, investing, and I say reading the manga is worth it too. And if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and turn the bell icon for more videos that I post. And if you agree with this video or disagree or have any opinions, make sure to let me know in the comments section down below. And also let me what anime I should do next. This is Keon signing out.